Climate change used to be thought of, even five or ten years ago, as a future problem, something for future generations to worry about. Now we understand how significant these impacts are and how rapidly things are changing now. Here at the University of Waikato, we've, we've set up the world's first Bachelor of Climate Change. The degree is really exciting because it's a deliberately an interdisciplinary degree. We want to make sure that students who are walking away as graduates of this bachelor's program have a really broad skill set to be able to actually contribute really meaningfully into the future job market, which is going to be 100% affected by climate change. Global and local climate patterns are influenced by oceanographic currents. Antarctica has a critical role in regulating global climate currents. What happens in Antarctica can provide us with a signal on the timing and severity of change that we may expect to see in New Zealand. The University of Waikato has a long history of studying Antarctic terrestrial ecosystems. Much of the change that we have observed in Antarctica fall exactly in line with what we'd expect with elevated CO2 concentrations. It really drives home the importance of growing our civilization using new techniques and new way of doing things that reduce our greenhouse emission. One of the ways is by an idea called the 20 minute city. That's the idea that everything you need for a good life should be located within a 20 minute walk, cycle or scooter ride from where you live. And so by planning a city differently, so it's easier to get around and walk and cycle, we can make a big impact on emissions as well as increase your quality of life. So the recent floods we've seen emphasize that we do need to build our cities differently and we need to manage water differently within our, our cities. So one of the things we're trying to do is also provide the evidence and then relate that to the plans, the policies and the strategies that means they could be implemented to make new development safer. This country is growing so rapidly, it needs so much development, it needs new infrastructure decisions being made, we just cannot generate enough planners. And so the students that come through our program, they're snapped up and they're employed on good wages immediately. <laughs>